Hi, okay, we are live. We're going to do the goddess braid. I'm gonna take these bows out, but I do have these super fun holiday bows that I'm gonna to try to incorporate into this braid. I don't know if you've been seeing all of the TikTok hairstyles right now, but for the holidays, they all have bows and it is so cute. So that's what we're going with. Okay, welcome everyone. Hi, 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 we're just getting started. I'm gonna show the goddess braid, which is like a half up braid. Um, not very hard to do, you can totally learn it tonight and then you could probably do it on yourself. A lot of it's in the back or um, if you have a daughter, sister, friend, if you stay on this live, you'll be able to braid them for the holidays. It's a super cute braid for holiday parties holiday time of year and I have these cute bows that I just have a feeling will be really cute in it so last time I was live I showed how to do a bow bun I'm just taking that out now so you can kind of see I just started taking it out but it was kind of like that so it was like a really cute bow bun we have a YouTube channel and we've been reposting all of our lives there so we have like how to Dutch braid how to French braid how to do the bow bun and then this one I'll post on YouTube too. So if you ever wanna watch our live replays, they're all on there. We don't edit them, they're truly a replay. So um, you probably would wanna fast forward through a lot of it or watch it at 2X speed or something like that, but they're on YouTube, so. Hi everyone, thank you for being here. It is 7.30 where I am. What time is it for you guys? There's eight of you on right now, it looks like. What time zone are you in? What time is it? 7.30 is a little late for me working and going live. Just worked all day on editing our website, getting ready for our bootcamp webinar, which we have Wednesday. If anyone signed up for that, let me know. 9.30. Okay, we got a lot of, a lot of Eastern time, huh? That makes sense. Are you guys in Buffalo? I know we have a lot of like Buffalo babes because that's where the company started are you guys in buffalo our eastern time babes so today i just edited the website we created some new ads for austin texas we're kind of like creating specific ads for people to make money braiding and so this month we picked austin texas to really show them to but really anyone in the u.s now can braid for braid babes Georgia and Kentucky, not even Buffalo. Welcome. My brother lives in Kentucky. Don't ask me where, I don't know. He just moved there. Don't know Kentucky yet, but I did stay in Kentucky. Kind of near, was it Bowling Green? Something like that. I thought it was so beautiful. It was just so green and it felt just like wholesome there and pretty. Hi everyone. Okay, I'm just taking out what we did last time, which was the bow bun, and I'm going to do the goddess braid. I'm gonna have to buy a new mannequin pretty soon. This hair is getting beat up. Not ideal. All right, for everyone on here, have you heard of Braid Babes before today, or is this, is this your first time hanging out on a live? We've been going live almost every day with a tutorial and then we post the replay on YouTube. So our YouTube is starting to get quite a few replays on it, which is so fun. I take this vest off. Ooh, it's hot in here. All right, can you show me French braid, please? Today I'm showing the goddess braid, which is gonna be twist braids into a French pull through but Tori just did the French and Dutch and they're on our YouTube. Just look for Tori, she's my co-founder with red hair. So if you find hers, the French and Dutch red hair on our YouTube, which I think our YouTube is just braid babes. Yes, okay. We do love teaching the French and Dutch because obviously it's like the most basic. There's so much you can do with them. You could put a Dutch braid really into like anything, but I want to show you guys something else that's kind of cool and different and I think if you keep watching where's my hairbrush hang on let me find my oh there it is 
if you keep watching, this is totally a style that you could do for a holiday party. And I have these cute holiday themed bows. Bows are everywhere on the hair tutorials right now. So I thought it'd be really fun if we put some bows in. Um, do you have a tutorial for the tinsel? I'd love to try it on my daughter. So um, you can totally YouTube ways to put, we call them shimmers, ways to put shimmers in the hair. Um, the ways that are on YouTube will fall out in a couple of days to a couple of weeks. Like they probably won't last longer than a week. We have a secret method. We have a course on it on our site, which lasts months. So mine typically lasts me like seven months because they don't fall out until that strand of hair falls out, which is so crazy. I wonder if I can like oil this mannequin. What do you guys think? It's a plastic mannequin, like plastic hair synthetic hair and it's getting kind of like frizzy and fluffy I'm like I wonder if there's anything I can do what did you put on your hair it looks nice um I have just like an oil I put on it but ever since I went darker it just naturally looks healthier when it was bleached it was like for ride okay so we're gonna pretend that our mannequin has a side part because most of us I shouldn't say most of us have side parts because I guess I kind of do. It's kind of to the side. Hi all, thank you for being here. Thank you for the likes. We're at 900 likes. Okay, so we're kind of pretending that this is her little side part. To be more realistic, I'm gonna go a little less side because no one's, we don't have that many side parts these days. All right. Hi everyone, let me know in the comments first what time it is for you. It's 7.30 here. I wanna know like, are y'all tired? Or are you hanging out? Are you eating? Secondly, where are you joining from? We had Kentucky, we had Georgia. For Ella, it's 9.30. Joe Cole, 9.30. Katie, 6.30. Kenzie, 7.30 from Utah. It's 7.30 here. I'm in Denver. Ella, Indiana. Kate, 9.31. Ooh, we got another Colorado. What part of Colorado? I'm in Denver. Shannon, 7.30. Kay Sheetle, 8.30 on lunch break. 8.30 on lunch break? Do you mean dinner break? <laughs> what you talking about? Tennessee, love Tennessee thinking about Nashville right now with the tornado. It's so sad. Macy, 930 Florida. Joe Cole, Florida. Courtney, upstate New York. What's up, New York? Maywish, 930 in New York. Katie, LA. So Braid Babes actually started in Buffalo, New York. That's where I'm from, and that's where I started Braid Babes five years ago. We now have like 60 braiders. We're in Buffalo, New York. Nashville, Tennessee, and Phoenix, Arizona. And now we're launching across the US, which is beyond exciting. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this the best way that you can see. I don't wanna say it's easy, but I do wanna say it's simple, this braid. So it's gonna be twist and then a French pull through. It barely missed me here, I'm about 30 minutes from Nashville. Thank God, Carrie, that you're safe. Thank goodness. Okay, so what I like to do, not everyone does this. Some people do symmetrical. I like to get a little asymmetrical with it because she's got a little side part. So I'm gonna do three twists on this side and two on this side. I just think it's a little like asymmetrical and fun. So for my twists, you kind of have two options. Some people will grab from here. And you can ask them if they want hair down in front or if you're doing yourself, if you want hair down in front. I kind of grab from here, just like from the front, but touching the part line. 1.4 thousand likes, what's up y'all? Oh my God. Okay, so I just grabbed like little front section here and it's touching my part. Okay, for the rope twist, to do it right, you're gonna be twisting in two different directions. The key is different directions so that it doesn't come undone. 
that's what keeps your twist from untwisting. So it's kind of fun. So we split it into two sections. The rope twist is just two sections. And now I like the main twist, which when I say main, it's how these two are twisting with each other. I like that one to be going up, kind of up and back. Cause if we were kind of twisting our hair to pin it back, we would twist it this way, right? Like it'd be kind of weird if we twisted it that way. We would twist it up and back. So my main twist of the two strands is gonna be up and back, coming towards the head. And now the individual strands are gonna twist away from the head. So the two strands are gonna go in the same direction as each other. They're both going righty tighty. I'm on the right side of the mannequin. And the two strands in comparison to each other are going lefty. I'm not gonna say lefty loosey because we're definitely twisting here. We're not undoing anything. So individual strands are going to the right. The strands in comparison to each other are going to the left, right, left. And as you get good, you'll kind of start doing what I'm doing. So I'm going right, left, right, left, right, twisting my individuals, left, twisting them against each other, right, twisting my individuals. All right, are you guys getting that? Do you get how it's like separate? And then if I were to put an elastic in this, it's not going to unravel. It's going to kind of hold itself. Don't test me on that. It mostly won't unravel. <laughs> if they're going the same way, it would just come apart. Yay, New York, New York, Syracuse. Yay, Syracuse. My roommate is uh, from Rochester too, which is so cool. Got like our Western New York girlies. Okay, yes, we're getting it. Thank you, Maywish. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Oh my gosh, thank you everyone's following. Thank you. So much support tonight. Uh, we've been going live almost like every day, so definitely make sure you're following so that you keep getting all the free tutorials. You did good, thank you. Okay. Um, and then I just usually use some kind of like bobby pin. Um, I call this the crocodile clip to hold, hold that back here. Okay, now your second section, you're gonna kinda grab under the last, but some of the hair for it is gonna come from behind your last section. So it's not like a super clean just under, some of the hair is coming from right behind the section up here too. Okay, so you kinda see that? It's coming like that. And now it's just gonna be another rope twist, so I'm not gonna explain it too much. Do you know how to do a five strand? I learned in cosmetology and forgot. Um, yes, I know a five strand, um, but not doing that one tonight, but maybe, maybe I could get Tori to do the five strand tomorrow. Tonight we're doing what we call the goddess braid. So on Instagram, we have a menu. I didn't realize that was falling. On Instagram, we have a menu. It's called braid babes underscore menu. And you'll see the goddess braid on there. That's the one that we're doing tonight. So it's like one of our staple braids. So the Braid Babes menu is used at parties and braid bars. It's like our 15 minute braids. That's why I feel confident you could totally get this braid after today and know how to braid. Oh my gosh, everyone's following. Thank you so much. What a great live. 1.9, 2,000 likes. All right, and now like I said, on this side, we're doing three rope twists. We're on the other side, we're only gonna do two because of where she has her part, this is the bigger side, this is the bigger section. And so on the smaller section, I'm gonna do less, which gives it this kind of cool, asymmetrical uh, look to it. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to think of that girl's name. Who's that, the blonde girl in that series? Dare, dare, dare. Oh my gosh, I'm like losing it. Anyways, this one reminds me of her a lot. Someone's gonna get it in the comments, I know it. Braiding does get addictive. Any tips with kids with sensitive heads? Um, with kids, it's all about like the detangling. Does your kid have a lot of knots? We use like a detangler and then my biggest tip is like just to keep their hair braided all the time. Like just always keep double dutches in their hair so that they're not getting new tangles. Um, yeah, just making sure that like, they really have no tangles 
I've noticed a lot of people with sensitive, okay, now I'm doing two on this side. I've noticed a lot of people with sensitive heads, they have very thin, fine hair, which really grabs to your hands a lot. So maybe using like a dry shampoo so it doesn't stick to your hands. Like if your hands are kind of clammy, so the hair is sticking, and then you're kind of yanking their hair. Sometimes I'll put dry shampoo on my hand, and then their hair is not sticking to my hand, and I'm not yanking their hair out. The hair is just gliding through my hand. So there's been times where like I had caffeine and went to a braid party, and my palms were just kind of sweaty. I would just... <laughs> put some dry shampoo on them and then they just kind of glide through the hair no problem okay so again I want the two main strands to go up towards the head because that's the way we would twist if we were gonna twist and pin our hair so the bulk of it is gonna go towards the head and then the two individual strands are gonna go the opposite direction away from the head opposite towards away towards away towards and your fingers just get really fast at that once you like yes Daenerys I was like duh Daenerys from Game of Thrones exactly love those ideas thanks so much yeah the dry shampoo is a huge hack she has a lot of baby hair what do you do with that one um gosh I have a lot of baby hairs haven't quite figured that one out yet um mostly my baby hairs just don't make it into the braid and I've just kind of um accepted that my baby hairs aren't going to make it into the braid I literally have like clumps this is all baby hairs isn't that crazy so usually when I do styles when I have a braid or braid my hair I keep hair down like this and that just totally hides my baby hairs no one knows so I don't know if your daughter has hair like that you could kind of leave down that kind of hide the baby hairs or just braid and just don't stress about the baby hairs just kind of just let them live <laughs> My baby hairs are my lifelong struggle, so 4,000 likes. You guys are just showing so much support tonight. Thank you so much. All right, who here? Let's do this. What's the hardest braid you know how to do? And if you don't know anything at all, maybe put like the three strand. Like you probably know the three strand, right? Did I miss it already? No, we're just doing the rope twist. So for Tina, I'll repeat the rope. You want the two main sections to be twisting up and towards the head, up and towards the head. The two individual sections are going to go the opposite direction, away from the head. So when you're twisting them with each other, you go towards the head, up and towards the head. And then the individuals are twisting away from the head. And your fingers will get kind of fast at it. You can see like as I'm twisting, I'm twisting the individuals. So you'll get, you'll kind of get the, the hang of it. All right, Rich, just do it. Dutch braid, Dutch or French, Dutch. When I first started how to braid, when I first started braiding five years ago, I didn't know the difference between a Dutch and French braid. Just so crazy. That was just 2018. A lace braid. I did a lace braid last week for the queen braid. A regular braid. French braid. Lace braid. T. Tiana knows the lace braid. I showed that one for our queen because that's how we hid the part, which was super fun. Um, if you guys ever want, we're going live like every day, so make sure you're following. Holy cow, we're already at 5,000 likes. Um, make sure you're following. We've been going live every day. Myself and my co-founder, Tori, we started Braid Babes five years ago. We now have about 60 employees. We're taking braid appointments in Buffalo, Nashville, and Phoenix, which is wild. And we just now are opening braid babes across the US. So anyone that wants to braid in their city can sign up to be on our platform to get all of our training and start making money braiding. That's called Braid Babes Beta. Okay, so we've got, look, she already looks like Daenerys. Isn't that so cool? All right, so we've got our five kind of coming down. The thing is you don't want them to like sit on top of the head like this. You want them to kind of droop down and come together, right? Kind of like a crown. So get them to kind of droop. Sometimes I like to put a little space between like the top and the bottom one. And then we're going to elastic them all together. So I had a pin holding them all back here like a clip. Now we're going to elastic. Okay, mine really are gonna stay. So I'm gonna grab I didn't open my my box yet. 
This is our cute braid lace kit. It's this big backpack. It is full of every braid supply you could ever need. So when you do Braid Babes Beta, you get a kit too. It's just so fun. This is our essentials box. It really has everything you could ever need, including cute, the cutest flower clips. Look at this. Isn't that so cute? And little butterfly clips. So fun. The worst thing you could ever do is drop that. I've done it. And then have to sort tons of bobby pins and elastics. All right. How much is the kit? The kit right now is uh, $999. But if you haven't taken boot camp, we usually will include boot camp for free with the purchase of the kit. I literally want to work for your company. This is so fun, and all of you girls seem so close. So true. Our braiders all just had their babe smiths, which is what they call like their their holiday party in each of the cities, and that was adorable. Okay, so I'm just gonna elastic that. We just wanna make sure it's kinda sitting low enough on the head that it's more like a crown and not going like on top of the head. Learn how to, even if you don't want to sign up to do braids, will you be making something where you can pay to learn how to braid? Yes. So Wednesday, we have a boot camp webinar. Boot camp, we teach you all of our main braids. It's 15 braids, four buns. Uh, we teach you all kinds of fun stuff in there. You get live feedback and grading. You submit photos of your braids. And then my co-founder, Tori, gives you feedback, which is really fun. You can ask tons of questions. You go through with a group of people. That's starting on January 1st, and we have a webinar on Wednesday. Just for you to come, ask more questions. We'll do a fun braid live on it. And, uh, you know, if you have any questions about how to make money with braid babes, just how to learn, how to buy the kit, we'll have good promos and deals on there too. So if you go to our website and then you go to Braid Babes Courses in the main menu, you'll see the webinar. And it's Wednesday, right around this time like in the evening. Okay, now we're going to do the French pull through. I'm gonna get a bunch of elastics ready. I'm gonna set them on my chair. Okay, so French usually means the hair's coming from behind and coming forward. Where Dutch is usually the hair's coming from forward and going behind. So that's the main difference even like a French braid and a Dutch braid. So that's why this is a French pull through because we're gonna take hair from back here and bring it forward. If we were doing the opposite, if we were splitting this in half and putting it behind, that would be a Dutch pull through. So we're doing a French pull through for this one. Yay, thank you for the roses. 6.9 thousand likes. You guys are seriously double tapping. Whew, this is amazing. I haven't felt love like this on a live in a really long time and like I'm so here for it. Okay. You guys are the best crew ever. All right. So we're just gonna grab a little bit of hair from both sides and then run your finger down to kind of clean it up. And we're going to elastic that. And now who on here when you like do a Dutch braid and you kind of pull at it and make it like bigger, what do you call that? Let's do like a pop quiz. Who knows what that's called? Let me know in the comments. If you like Dutch braid your hair and then you like pull on the edges to make it really big and fluffy, what do they call it? Teasing, close. Pancaking, Cassidy, you win. I don't have anything for you to win, but girl, you won. Oh, there we go. Now we got tons of them. I like fanning. I wish it was called fanning because pancaking low key is slightly cringe. Hannah pancaking, Raya or Raya pancake, user pancaking. You guys are killing it. Okay, so that's exactly what we're gonna do because this just looks kind of meh. So we're going to kind of pull on the edges. What's really fun too is like, you don't wanna just pull here. That makes a very flat 2D pull through. If you kind of pull outward like towards you 
that can make a more rounded, fluffy pull through, which is kind of fun. So we're gonna pull the outer edge, but then also pull the insides. Make it nice and fluffy. All right. And now for the next section that I'm gonna pull forward, you can see it's already a really pretty start. We're gonna grab the hair from our ropes, but you can see it's not a lot of hair. Like if I start pulling this through, I'm gonna run out pretty quickly. It's just a little tail. So with it, I'm gonna grab a little extra hair from underneath as well. Be careful, if you're doing someone with more fine hair, they don't have a lot of it, you don't wanna grab so much. Look, if I grabbed like this, which this mannequin just has a ridiculous amount of hair so it wouldn't happen, but if I grabbed like this and then start braiding, she's gonna have like bald spots back here, like it's not gonna be seamless and nice and fluffy and full. She's gonna, you're gonna be able to see the back of her neck in certain spots. So when you're doing this on someone, make sure you're not grabbing so much back here that you're leaving them with nothing in the back under it. Make sure they have hair underneath so it's a half up and we're not using it all. Um, so if you need to, just make your pancakes a little smaller. Make them not as thick. That's totally fine. I wish I had like a fine hair mannequin so I could show you like, you can create beautiful, beautiful braids with fine hair, especially with pancaking. All right, guys, make sure you're following. We've been going live literally every day, myself and my co-founder, Tori. So make sure you're following so you can see them all. Okay, so we're grabbing a little hair from the back and including the hair from the rope braids. So we've got a little extra hair from each side and the hair that's coming from the elastic, the rope braid. And now, we're gonna bring that to the front by bringing each side around that front section. So each side has half of what's coming from the rope braids and then half of just some new fresh hair behind to make it thicker and longer. Otherwise we would run out of hair. Okay, just getting a little bit of these ropes out of here. Hi Star! Oh my gosh. Tr tr Travisa2090, thank you for following. Benson's fam, thank you for following. Is braiding with braiding better with wet or dry hair? We ask for dry hair. Um, it's really hard to create like really pretty boho styles with wet hair. If you're braiding your hair, um, say you're braiding your daughter's hair because you just don't want it to not. Maybe it's easier for you to braid with wet hair and that's totally fine. Um, that way your hands can kind of just slip through the hair. You can put a lot of like um, conditioning treatment in it to just like have no knots and just get through it. For creating a boho style, we ask for dry hair. Um, something I said earlier too, like one of the benefits of braiding wet hair is that, like I said, the hair kind of will like easily slip through your hands. You're not kind of tugging at the hair. So if you are doing it dry, you can put some dry shampoo on your hands that will also keep your hands from getting clammy and so that they can run through the hair without like yanking the hair. So that will help too. Okay, here for the compliments. Thank you. All right, for those of you that don't know, my name is Emily. I started Braid Babes in 2018. So we're about to be at five years, which is just... Well, okay, we started it, I started in 2018, I learned how to braid. January 2019, I started it. That's where I got messed up there. In the beginning of 2018, I didn't even know the difference between a French and a Dutch braid. Okay, so again, we're kind of pulling on those outer edges and the insides to make them fluffy. All right. Who here has heard of Braid Babes before today, or is it your totally first time you never heard of Braid Babes before? Okay, so again, I'm taking the back section, splitting it in half, star is a new fan, and I'm pulling it forward, and then going to elastic it. So I'm not elasticing it with the bottom one, just elasticing the back sections together. Falls easily, do you have any tips? falls easily. The braids that you're doing are falling easily. If the braids you're doing are falling easily, um, we recommend, 
Okay, looks like I'm out of it, but we have a dry texture spray called Puff Me by Design Me. I need to order more of it. I actually have it in my bathroom. Um, we spray that all over the hair before you start. If you're braiding dry hair, spray it all over and then the braid will kind of hold from the inside instead of just doing hairspray, which is just gonna hold the outside of the braid. Also before Be Pancake, a product I really, really love. There's really two products, maybe three, that I'm obsessed with. One is the Design Me Texture Spray. The other one is Design Me's Puff Me Texture Powder. This one is really fun to do before you start pancaking. It lets them get like really fluffy and then they kind of hold that fluff because of this texture powder. That product is really made for braiding. Um, code Braid Babes 15 will save you 15% on uh, any Design Me products, which is super fun got a nice little partnership with them let me see if I can make this taller I don't actually know how to make it taller but I think it goes taller I want you guys to be able to see what we're doing here okay that was not it that one just made the head all floppy what are the best elastics um, I think they're called like Amelia on Amazon we have not found clear elastics that don't break. We've been this one hair size was like, I swear these are the elastics that don't break. They totally broke. Here we go, here's the handle. There we go, woo! Okay, gotta tighten it. Um, she said these clear elastics don't break. We tested them out, they absolutely break. And so we have not found clear elastics that don't break, but um, we just started testing out blonde elastics. So that Amelia brand on Amazon, they have brown and black, they look like this. They also have a blonde one, which is really interesting. So we've been kind of trying that out. I haven't gotten the braider's feedback on it yet, but I'm assuming it would be just as strong as the, the black and brown, which don't break. They're wonderful. So anytime I can use brown or black in a client, I do, so I'm hoping that these blonde one looks really good in blondes. It's like, so obviously like this is clear, and this is brown. The blonde one that they have it looks like this color. So that's kind of cool. But those are just on Amazon, not too expensive. We get a lot of our stuff on Amazon. Okay, it's not coming out like perfection because I'm doing it backwards. I feel like if I was standing right behind this braid, I would totally be a little more perfect. Well, it's pretty perfect. If I say so myself. Okay. All right. Keep asking me questions in the comments. I love answering. So for those that are new on here, Braid Babes has teams of mobile braiders. We have like 60 employees in Buffalo, Nashville, and Phoenix. We go to clients' houses to braid their hair for events parties we'll do like kids parties bachelorette parties we have a menu of braids that we do and then we also do these hair shimmers which with our secret method last about six months which is wild this braid is called the queen braid if you go on instagram we have a menu um, at the instagram handle braid babes underscore menu and this is the queen braid off that menu the menu has the cutest braids we have a boot camp starting January 1st that teaches all of our menu braids, plus more like the five strand. Even has like a challenge braid at the end. You get graded, you get supplies, all kinds of stuff. But if you want more questions or more answers on boot camp, we have a webinar on Wednesday evening, Wednesday night, depending what time zone you're in. You're doing the boot camp. You're in January 1st. No way. That's, I can't wait. Okay, but like I don't know your name. So like user 217234. You gotta tell me your name so I can look out for you in the boot camp. Emily, what's a good alternative to a sweetheart braid? Something more long lasting. Um, I do think the sweetheart is very long lasting. Do you not like how it looks? I feel like that one, because it's held in by elastics, really lasts a very long time. Um, more long lasting, I mean, uh, the summer braid, if you're looking at the menu, the summer braid would last a really long time because it's Dutch, then held by an elastic, and then pull-throughs. 
the elastic really will hold that braid, make it last longer. The key really is also when you wake up to hairspray, kind of like fix your, your flyaways, like take time in the morning to kind of pull and play with your braid to get it to last another day instead of kind of giving up on it. Katie, yay! Okay, Katie, I can't wait to see you in boot camp. That's so cool you're in it. What do I use to curl my hair? I use a straightener. <laughs> um, I also only do it at 350 because I'm really on like a healthy hair journey right now. I used to fry it and bleach it. And so, see that clear elastic just broke. These elastics are worthless. Um, I used to curl my hair at 390 and I just started doing 350 and I still get beautiful curls. And I'm like, why was I frying my hair? I also started doing oil every day and I just went way darker and it's just so much healthier now. So happy. All right. Pancaking, the pull through. Not only am I pulling outward with the edge, I'm also pulling on the inside, kind of out this way to make it kind of a fluffy round pancake. I think I can do one more section out of this really turning out so pretty. Do you have any braiders for Long Island? Um, you could be the first. We don't yet, but we just opened Braid Babes Beta maybe two weeks ago now, a week and a half ago. We just launched Braid Babes Beta where anyone can braid in any city. Yay, it looks amazing. I thought so too. Oh, my hair. I thought you meant the braid. Thank you. Thank you. I'm really enjoying. I actually, I was blonde forever. And I think I was actually meant to be brunette. I was so scared to make the change. If any of you have been bleaching your hair since 10 years ago, then you totally get it too. I was so scared to go brunette. Like, what if I hate it? Literally love it. Does the Buffalo Braid Girl come to Long Island? No. But we are building uh, braiders everywhere right now. Just want to see if I missed any other questions. I don't think so. Cool. All right. Who on here would like to learn more braids? Like you're like, mm, I know the Dutch, but I'd really like to know a lot more. Let me know in the comments. I want to see like how many of you are like, I'm good with just the Dutch braid versus like, I want to learn more. Let me know in the comments. Good with just knowing how to do a Dutch braid or like, you need to learn more. You want to learn the waterfall? We never do the waterfall. Learn all the things. All right, Kenzie. We're going live literally every day, so make sure you're following. And then we've been posting the replays on YouTube. So if you're like really craving more, um, the YouTubes, they're literally just replays. So it's like the full live. We don't edit it at all. Did you guys stop doing bridal? <sighs> we did. We did. Um, you can still book braid babes for a bridal, but it's, it's the same as a regular appointment. So I would say like if, if we do a bridal now, it's um, very low key bridal, like someone that's not very like, they kind of want like a low key thing or they just want their hair low key, like they're just happy with a regular like full style appointment. Um, someone said, I love your tinsel, did you do it? I actually did. I went live like a month ago and did my shimmers and I was live for like two and a half hours and did about 25 to 30 shimmers. It took so long, it's so hard to do on yourself, but I did it, it was really hard. I love all things hair, I love it. Yay, Tessa. Okay, so I think we're about done. I just wanna show you a few more cute things. I also have some cute holiday bows that I think we can dress it up with. I'm not sure how it'll look, but we'll try it out. One thing I kinda like to do sometimes is you can give these rope braids a little more texture. So I'll come here and I'll kind of just like pull at the bottom strand here. And then you don't have such a tight rope braid. Your rope braid starts to get a little more texture to it. And so you can really go like as big or little as you want with that. 
see how now it has like a lot more texture compared to this side which just has like skinny ropes so we really can like texture them up this really is like the perfect holiday party braid do it on yourself daughter sister friend boyfriend if you have long hair it's not a very manly style but you never know but you might want it or show them this video and have them braid your hair i always thought that would be so fun like i want to make my boyfriend start braiding my hair and like i could teach him like all the braids and we could go on youtube and just have him like braiding my hair it would be so cute okay giving this last one a touch of texture I think that's pretty good boom boom okay I'm gonna pose really quick for like a um cover photo I always forget to do that and then I end up having to pick a cover photo where I'm like anyways look how cute Okay, those are probably gonna be cute cover photos. That's literally the first time I've ever remembered that. And so I'm like searching through the video for a half an hour, frame by frame, looking for like a good face that shows the braid. It's so hard. Okay. Chris, hi. Remind me the name of the elastics. I think it's Amelia. A-M-E-L-I-A -E on Amazon. So to book the bridesmaid, just book regular braids. Yes, I'd probably book um, full style, which is the heat tools and braid. Jen, because it's bridal. Winter is coming to Denarius Braids. Exactly. Like, this is so Denarius. So Denarius. Okay. And now I'm going to try the bows and see what that looks like. Tori just had me create, um, order a ton of bows on Amazon. She had me order this one as a joke. You're going to die. You're literally going to die when you see this. Also, we're about to hit 14,000 likes. You guys are so supportive. What would I be without you? Okay, make sure you're following. Follow, follow, follow. We are going live every day. Okay, should I put this bow on myself or the mannequin? I think I should put it on myself. Tori will be so proud. She made me buy this as a joke and she said I had to use it in the live and I can screenshot this and show her <laughs> what if this is how I was all the time like every day I'm like hey guys welcome to the live we're gonna learn how to braid yay oh my god this is the goddess braid isn't that cute I just got a whole new personality Okay, can't wait to screenshot that and show Tori. Okay, so that's one of the bows I got, but <laughs> on a more serious note, we, I can't believe how much my personality just changed, really. Um, I got these cute holiday bows, and I was like, what if I like pinned one on kind of each section of this goddess braid? I don't know. They might just cover the braid, but like for the holidays, that might be cute. So let's see. Hi Barbie. <laughs> LOL dolls. Seriously. That was fun though. Glad we did that. Glad we did that together. Okay. So I'm not going to put it through the elastic because it would probably break the elastic. So I'm going to put it through right here, right above the elastic. Boom, boom. <gasps> Cute. Oh my gosh. Literally you could leave it like that. If I was going to do just one bow, maybe I would put it right there where it all kind of comes together and then it looks like the bow is holding it together that is so okay let me do another cover photo because that's adorable and I don't know if all the other bows are going to be as adorable okay my one hand is kind of cut off let's try again like this okay cute Thanks for your patience. Just one, it's gorgeous. I know. Let me put the other ones on for fun. But I have a feeling one's gonna be it. You guys can vote. All right. 
these bows are so cute these were just on Amazon I just went a little crazy on Amazon I literally bought so many okay these are cute like I want to wear these bows Kinda cute. You guys tell me. The pink bow. I know. Maybe I'll try it with the pink bow too. You guys can see what that looks like. I'm doing this on my daughter tomorrow. Oh my gosh. Please DM me a photo. Please. That would be so cute. Okay, so don't forget guys. If you want to learn all of our cute braid babes braids, we have a boot camp starting on January 1st. And we have a webinar totally free. We're going to teach a cute braid on the webinar and answer all the boot camp questions. Okay, I think I know my answer, but you guys tell me. <laughs> One bow or four? Let me know in the comments. I think I know my answer. Yeah, we got to vote for one. Kenzie says one. Yeah, yeah. Live. Sequoia. Keats. Yeah, literally no one's loving the four. In my head, this was it. Like, this was the style. In my, when I bought these, I was like, this is, this is the style. I was incorrect on that. Okay, okay. I'm embarrassed at my brain. Like, that's what my brain thought was going to be so adorable. I'm sure you guys could kind of see where it came from, though. Like, I don't know. It just seemed like it'd be cute. One is so classy. Okay. I think it was Katie because you it was like user. You're gonna do it on your daughter in the morning, I think. Um, are you do you have a bow to use? Because that's adorable. Like look from the side. How cute. Okay, let's see what um love that style. Maybe ugly Christmas sweater party with all four. <laughs> yeah, I like your vibe, that's funny. Just want to see what the pink one looks like. I will say, this, this is from Amazon. I think it needs to be steamed, but also don't love this like old school barrette that you like pop open. Not a fan. It's very hard. Look how like bent it is. Very hard to put in the hair. We just had you guys for a birthday party. Oh my God, that's so cool. You had braid babes. Love to see it. Okay, I'm just gonna put it through two of these ropes. It's really hard to do much with like this barrette style. Okay, that one kind of hold like hides the entire braid. So maybe like if you didn't have time to do the bottom, do the ropes and then do a cute bow to come down. Cause also like very adorable. Bows are everything this holiday season. So don't be scared to throw a bow in. So cute. Maybe I'll put a bow in my hair tomorrow. All right, guys, make sure you're following. Thank you for the likes. 14.3 thousand likes. I had a like last week that hovered between one and zero people watching. So we hovered around, what, like 80 people today. So thank you so much. It's giving Wendy from Peter Pan. Very cute. Um, I think I'm going to finish with this one in because that one's preppy and cute. Thank you for being on. Thank you for being here. Thank you for all the likes, 14.5 thousand. I really appreciate it. It's so much more fun to do a live where you're all talking, asking questions, hanging out. Sometimes I get on here and there's one person I'm like, so how are you doing? So thank you, thank you for the support. This live replay, if you missed it, will be on our Braid Babes YouTube. All right, thank you all. Have a lovely night. And we'll be live tomorrow. My co-founder Tori with Fred Hair will be on tomorrow. All right. Thank you guys. Bye. Make sure you're following. Bye.